Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the Panasonic Lumix DMC ZS3. It's a $400 point and shoot. It's a, a high end point and shoot, as you could imagine, uh, from Panasonic. It uses a Leica lens and it's got some great features like uh, really high picture quality, AV CHD light for HD video recording, and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, it's a really nice camera and I've had a lot of fun using it, but it does have two problems that I wanted to point out here on video. So uh, here goes with number one, and it's that the zoom adjustment right here, try to focus that, tends to get stuck. So the camera's on, and look at that, stuck. And this camera is relatively new, and it's in, you know, it hasn't been mishandled at all. But I want to zoom in and set a popping back like it should get stuck. And I'm just using one finger, not forcing it. So that's pretty annoying. And it really doesn't seem like there's any reason they should do that. It, that it should do that. You could see it just sometimes it gets stuck, sometimes it doesn't. When it is, it's quite annoying. The other problem is with the mode dial right here, and it's that it's really easy to shift from mode to mode. So we'll go from normal auto to intelligent auto, and it takes very little force, which is, a, which is fine. You're going to be doing it with a single finger. But the problem is that there's not, they don't have hard stops over here or over here, which means you could spin out of this mode area into a dead space which is 50% of the dial and when you're in that dead space mode dial is not in the proper position and you can't shoot so you go back everything's good again you move it with a little bit of force a millimeter and yeah so we'll do both at the same time you can see it There you go. Yeah, so it's a bit of a problem. It's uh, you know, it's a nice camera and four hundred dollars. I wouldn't expect these sort of issues. And you know what? They may not be deal breakers, but uh, you should be forewarned if you're uh, keeping this camera near the top of your wish list. So this is Sal from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.